Disclaimer, I am an idiot. I suck at this game. I played 20 hours before I knew you had to feed your horse. Please take everything with a grain of salt. Hopefully, every problem I bring up will either be fixed or doesn't exist at all, and I'm too stupid to figure that out. I also apologize for shitty sound quality. This is my first review ever, inspired by pure rage. <laughs> Views. The single player mode for Red Dead Redemption 2 has been incredibly well received. Pretty much every outlet is giving it a perfect or near perfect review. Wait, huh? I guess that's why they're called slant. <laughs> But yes, the single player is good. It's kind of undeniable. I would know that firsthand if I had, you know, actually played the game. But yeah, it's true. I actually haven't played the single player. I've been dedicating all of my time to the stupid fucking multiplayer. No, but seriously, it's really bad. But before I become just a complete, total negative asshole, I do want to talk about some of the things I do like about the multiplayer. One, the game is fucking gorgeous. Look at this. Look at it! Two, hunting is actually really fun in this game. I think it's safe to say that Red Dead Redemption 2 is a better fishing game than Super Pro Bass whatever the fuck on PlayStation Go Fuck Yourself. 3. Online is the perfect game to play with your friends. It's the first game in a while to make me want to stay up all night with my friends and just dick around. The only reason I don't regret my purchase is the genuine hours of crying laughter it's brought me. Alright, that was like, what, 60 seconds? Cool, all right, so let's get to the bad stuff. Everything in this game costs money. And I mean everything. Clothing, guns, horses, food, ammo, dying. Everything costs money. There are two major problems with this. Big money problem number one. You earn money incredibly slowly and everything costs a fuck ton of money. So it takes a really long time to get anything. Free roam missions take a fair chunk of time, don't award you a lot of cash, and really aren't interesting. Usually it's, go over here and get this cart, or go over here and kill this one animal. Almost all of them are glorified fetch quests. The fun stuff, like clearing gang hideouts or just fucking around, earn you little to no cash. I really enjoy hunting in online, and you can make a fair amount of money doing it. But you have to ride your horse to and from the butcher, over and over and over again. It can get pretty exhausting and takes way too much time. Speaking of riding... Big money problem number two! Most things require you to go to the store to buy it. So every time you want clothes, you have to hop on your horse and ride to the nearest clothing store, which can take five to ten minutes. That's time you could be spending earning money. If you don't want to wait that long, there's always fast travel. For money. You can argue that this is for... IMMERSION! But really, all this serves to do is waste your time and slow down gameplay and progression. Whether they make you money or not, every single activity in this game now has a timer on it, and when that timer runs out, you have to go buy more supplies. Are you doing a lot of fetch quests and riding your horse a lot? Oh, that's too bad. Your horse cores are empty, and it will be slower until you get to a stable and buy some more horse food. Are you having a good time killing outlaws, or even fighting the police as an outlaw yourself? Not anymore! Your HP, stamina, and Jedi cores are empty. Regeneration, accuracy, and other stats are now demonstrably worse until you buy more tonics and food. Oh, you're also out of ammo. Fuck you, go buy some more. The ammo thing really pisses me off, especially because it affects PvP. But I'll get to that shit show later. In Red Dead 1, you just spawned with more ammo when you died, so you could resume doing whatever it is you wanted to do right away. But now, doing something like this costs money, and you can't do it again until you spend 10 minutes doing a mission and another 10 going to the store to buy more bottles. Now, there is the option to craft these items and ammo. If you go to the store and buy the recipes for a fuck ton of money, you're also just charged for things for no reason. Every few in-game hours or so, you get charged a stable upkeep fee. There is no gameplay mechanic tied to this at all. You just lose a certain amount of money for owning a horse. I know it's not a lot of money, but the only reason it's there is to slow down your progress. 
Or maybe it's there for IMMERSION. Another one of these stupid mechanics is gun cleaning. The more you use the gun, the worse it gets, which means you have to pay money to fix it. You literally can't buy upgrades or attachments for your gun unless you oh, clean it first. I don't play video games to browse through catalogs and navigate sluggish menus, drinking tonics that I have to buy to keep my character functioning, cleaning my gun so it works correctly, all just so I can resume playing the game like normal. I play them because I'm a fat, lazy asshole. You might be thinking, is it really that bad though? Those annoying mechanics probably wouldn't be so bad if they just tweaked the numbers and let you earn money faster. They just wanted to make it immersive. Why would Rockstar make it so hard to earn money? Yeah, anyone who played GTA 5 would have seen this coming. See, there's not just money in this game, there's also gold bars and you can buy gold bars with real-world money. So next time you want to buy something and you can't afford it with in-game money, instead of grinding to get that money, you can just fork up a couple real-world dollars to get gold bars and use those instead. Some items are even gold bar exclusive, meaning you can't buy them with the regular cash. Well, I can only take gold for that, I'm afraid. And then everything becomes clear. This game is not meant to optimize your fun and have a sensible progression system. The game is designed to feel sluggish and frustrating. You are supposed to earn money slowly. The items are supposed to cost way too much money because enough people will get fed up and frustrated and instead of quitting the game, they'll chuck in some cash, get some gold bars, and get that new thing they wanted. Technically, you can earn gold from doing Stranger Missions, but it's such a small amount that it's almost not worth mentioning. Luckily, I'm an in-debt college student, so I have a few hours a day to sink into this game. But even then, I barely have anything unlocked, and I've purchased even less. Most people have jobs and don't have more than an hour or two to play a day. Those are the people that are going to take months to unlock things, or get fed up and have to buy the gold. The whole game model is fucking scummy. But it works. Clearly it works. And while it's easy to get mad at Rockstar for designing the game this way, the players who keep buying these microtransactions are just as much to blame. As long as they keep buying, Rockstar is going to keep doing it. But wait a minute, Greal Gripes! There's a whole nother mode you haven't talked about! I heard you could rank up and earn money really fast! You know... The PvP? <laughs> I can answer that for money.